we're going to be color grading like Kiss in Booth 3. So we're going to go from this to this, from this to this to match that, okay? First of all, before we go anywhere, make sure you click the like button, guys. I don't care if you subscribe, just please click the like button for your boy to show me that at least you appreciate these videos and um, so that way I can keep making these videos for you. This kind of like, you know, just teaching you guys color grading here and there, basic stuff that, you know, you might find intimidating, but it's actually easy. You just have to like tweak the settings here and there. So guys, click the like button and let's go. So for this challenge here today, we're going to do the kissing booth. Okay. It's on Netflix, the kissing booth three on Netflix. So, um, I chose this, uh, particular movie. I think it's a movie. Yeah. I chose this movie because the color grade in this movie is different from what I've already done on YouTube. Okay. So this is more vibrant, more like kind of summer. I think it was shot like over the summer kind of thing. I don't watch these kinds of movies. It's not my type of movie. I kind of liked this um, color grade because it was kind of different from what I was doing from The Witcher and from Loki. This is kind of something different. So I want to um, challenge myself to color grade like this. So this is more, like I said, it's more summerish. It's more, um, uh, the colors are kind of like rich. It's more saturation in here. Okay. So it kind of looks different. So we're going to go with this color. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to just kind of color grade from different scenes, but they're all going to be during the day and they're all going to be outside. Okay. So I already have some clips here from these two weddings that I shot. So this wedding here and, um, this wedding for this other couple. So this color grade is going to match more with this couple because it was afternoon and perfect timing for what this movie was more in the afternoon and as you can see the sun was out there was probably less clouds and stuff like that so this is also the sun was out here yeah so it was afternoon like around 12 1 p.m ish so this is this wedding here so it's gonna match more with this look here okay so this is all unedited fresh from the camera i think i was using the sony a7s for both these um weddings yeah so this is more overcast that is more this whole wedding was overcast okay as you can see the skies there was no blue skies this was all overcast so when i edit when i color grade over this footage it's not going to be the same over this footage okay so i'm going to try and make this overcast um day look like it was noon it was like kind of like um the sun was shining and whatnot but it's gonna go good on this because this the the skies were blue okay and the sun was shining so this is gonna be more the look of this movie here all right guys so we have our adjustment layer in there so as you can see nothing's edited yet i'm gonna do this with you guys so we're gonna go from this to kind of make it look like this so i need a shot that's more well, this is good. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, you can see that this is more saturated. So let's bring some saturation up. Not too much, kind of, kind of like, you know, 130-ish for now. And then um, let's go warm on the temperature. Kind of like that. And um, you can see that um, now the shot is um, oversaturated here overexposed so you can say so um let's go down on the highlights a little bit but as i always tell you in all these grades when you edit the adjustment layer always edit the individual clips okay always edit the individual clips going there and adjust the shots accordingly because you get a better image when you adjust the individual clips okay guys so I'm going to be working on half, not full, because um, that way it can render faster. So, okay, let's so let's just do the adjustment layer first. So we go here. Um, let me go something close up. I need something close up. 
this. This is good. Okay. So there. Okay. So it's already looking good. As you can see when we turn it off. See, it's overcast. Turn it on. It's already looking summerish. I think we're done here, guys. No, just kidding. But I mean, if you want to be done here, you can be done here. Okay. All we did was added some temperature, warmed it up some, and um, also just turned down the highlights. And uh, we put the saturation up to 130 from 100. And um, this is more faded as well. So we can go here and fade it out, go creative, fade it out some, probably like 30. I like 30. I don't know. I just like 30. So 30 looks good. Um, put some vibrant on it. So probably like maybe I want to do 30. Yeah, 30. <laughs> 30 is good. Now we'll do 20, 20, 20. We don't want to do too much. 20. Okay. So this girl right here, her skin is different from this girl. Her skin is more pale and this girl's skin is a little bit more tan because she's in Florida and she's probably in like Maine or uh, Nova Scotia or something like that. <laughs> I was watching, uh, what is that? Um, Oak Island. So Nova Scotia. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So what else are we going to do? Um, we're probably going to you know, put the vibrant uh, saturation, not so much on the creative. We'll leave it there. Uh, what else are we going to do? Highlights, probably a little bit. Let's see. Let's go up a little bit. This, nah, it's kind of more orangish. Yeah, that's good. Shadow, we're not going to touch that for now. We're not going to touch any of these for now. Uh, let's go back up here. As you can see, the shades, it doesn't, it doesn't have too much, um, that it's not too, what is that word? Too dark, as you can see for this. So we're going to go back here as well. And just on the shadows, we're going to bring them up some. Lighten up the shadows. Yeah, that's good. So, um, as far as the highlights go, we can go down some. So see, it looks good, guys. It, it's, it already looks more summerish as opposed to this. It already looks more summerish. Okay, so let's see what else. What are the clips we can work with from this movie? So this looks all the temperature is just warm, so warm. Okay, let's go back here. It's already warmish shadows more in the shadows make it a little bit warmer kind of like that there and um the tint nah a little bit greenish maybe like right there whites um nope bring it back some ducks just a pinch up there okay so what else do we got contrast I love contrast. Bring it up some. Okay, so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so summer. So far, so summer. I like this already, guys. For a wedding that was um, mostly overcast, this looks better. This looks, well, if you're trying to go with that, this looks good. If you're trying to make it look more um, summerish. Okay, summerish. So we go from Nova Scotia to Florida. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, I think this is great. This is great. So what you want to do now is um, go on individual clips, like I always tell you guys, and then just um, work with the individual clips. So whites go down some, right, like right there. Exposure looks too much down some highlights down some we're gonna just um, I want to copy paste but let me see it's good to work on the individual clips guys okay yeah so this doesn't look more 
like this because we are missing the sun in these shots. This wedding had no sun at all. No sun, guys. This wedding had no sun. So you're not going to get that nice bluish look. Okay, but we can definitely add a little bit of the saturation to these clips. Yeah, saturation looks good. I think that's what I was kind of missing in the other shots. Yeah. Put some saturation in it. Yeah. Saturation in it. Okay. So as you can see guys, there's a lot of saturation in these in this um movie here. Just look at that red. Look at Mario. Look at that red. It's just too red. It's just too vibrant, guys. Okay, so this summer, yeah, looks kind of like this. So that's where I would kind of stop this grade here. And um, the rest is just the individual clips, guys. Just the individual clips at this point. So I'm going to save this and uh make it i'm gonna name it um i'm gonna name it kissing booth lot okay so we're gonna do kissing booth lot one now we're gonna do overcast overcast Kissing booth lot overcast. Kissing booth lot overcast. Okay, because this is what you apply to overcast footage. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the difference. So let's um, cut this here and take this same lot and put it on this footage that is more that has more sun in it. You see the difference. See the difference? It's more better. Okay, it's more better. When you look at the one that was the, that had a lot of sun in it, it looks more like the kissing booth scenes outside. But of course, they probably had different lighting in different places. But I'm trying to work more with like the outside shots. Because my stuff here is outside, kind of like that. See that? So you go back here. So now when you put it on over on um, the clips that were more outside, it looks more saturated. So this is where now you, I'll dial this down, dial down some saturation here. So the skin tone between um, the bride and groom is clearly, um, let me just, this original. So dude is more um, tenor than her she's more pale okay so that's why it's kind of a little bit hard to grade different skin tones in the same clip but it is what it is guys so let's bring back this so yeah so this looks more like this now okay this looks more because she's more like her she's more pale and her hair is red her hair is blonde, so she's more like her. So this, see how the greens there looks kind of the same like that. So I kind of like that. I really like that there. I really like this grade. I think it's um, good. I think we've done it. So of course, go to the individual clips and adjust accordingly to your liking. Okay. So this is good, guys. This is good. This is more like the kissing booth. And I would like to add more um, fade in this. No, this is good. Then we'll go to the, I think the shadows will kind of do it. Yeah, that kind of did it. Okay, the whites. Yeah, we'll go up some of the whites, down on the, on the highlights. Contrast a little bit. Exposure, not so much. That's your choice. So there we go. Since we, we're trying to get that summer look, 
and this looks more summerish more saturated more color in it everything is more vibrant guys so i guess i think this is good because you can see the sun in this uh, wedding had a lot of sun in it kind of like the kissing booth as you can see see that you can go back here and turn down the highlights some okay um yeah i think this is pretty pretty good okay so that's without that's with that's without that's with okay so um yeah i think the grade is done here this grade is done here and as um this also it looks good on the overcast um footage if you're trying to make it more look, look more summer i think you should use this slot here the kissing booth lot before i go guys make sure you click the like button for your boy and uh just make sure if you want this lot you can go in the description below and download this um lot here guys so it's going to be in the description below kissing booth lot it's going to be um put together with all the lots i've done for this series and uh thank you for watching i appreciate your time it's your boy francis